Hallo Leute, da bin ich wieder zurück. Es ist 1 Uhr durch. Wir haben so wenig Zeit gefühlt. Und ich bin gespannt, was wir eventuell hier noch rausholen können. Ähm, ich würde gern vielleicht so ein paar andere Sachen noch versuchen mit abzufrühstücken. Ich weiß ja nicht, ob vielleicht... Wir machen mal diesen. Kann ich das auch... Oh, das ist gut. Greenstorm. Wow. Hallo, Freunde, was ist das denn? Okay, da haben wir auf jeden Fall was gefunden. Ich weiß schon gar nicht mehr, was Greenstorm war. Das haben wir vor einer ganzen Weile gehabt. Deswegen dachte ich, versuchen wir mal das mit dem Anzugmann. Genau, hier haben wir es nämlich das erste Mal gehört. Irgendwo beitreten oder so. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Machen wir erstmal das und hören uns das hier an. Well, remember the long games getting into Greenstorm. Oh, come on, you've never been close to flipping anyone near Greenstorm. No, wrong. I let myself get angry. Okay? Besides, there's good news. The Karen's report failed to mention. Ava's moving in with me. What? Ava's moving in. Okay. Die sind also definitiv jetzt ein Paar. Oder machen die einfach eine WG? Well, yeah, because we get to split the housework. <lacht> It's gotta look like a real relationship, right? Ah, es muss wie eine echte Beziehung aussehen. Also ist das mit Ava... Keine echte Beziehung? Wow, okay. I got this all under control. I promise. Okay. Green storm people talking about Santa Todd got a bigger scale. Hey, David. Hey. You heard anything about that? Yeah, no, that's all internet noise. I don't know. I, I think it's serious. And I'd like to know if anybody else here agrees that maybe it's time we talk about it. You said before that this was a war. Perhaps that's right. Yeah, uh, Catch, quick question. Um, why, why are you always so keen for us to incriminate ourselves? <laughs> What? I'm not. I'm just... No, you know you, you, know you remind me of, Chris? Um, Sorry? You, you remind me of this guy, so... Simon McMillan, right? Because then that would make you a corporate spy for Prosper, right? Mm -hmm. Chris, what is this? Chris. Hey, look, guys, come on, let's talk about this, okay? Uh, so this is true, then, what he's telling us right now. What the fuck, Chris? Yeah, yeah, see? Everybody, this is Simon McMillan, okay? He is a he is an employee of Black Kite, sent on behalf of Prosperin, okay, to spy on our meetings. You are trying to inform on our constitutionally protected activities, pal. It's called entrapment. You cut. And I had you over for dinner. In my home! Hey, hey, get away from me. Hey, hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, 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 look, hey, he doesn't have a wire, guys. Hey, he doesn't have a wire. He's probably recording us on his phone. Get his phone! Get his phone! Motherfucker! Hey, look, I can explain. All right? All right, all right. I am no traitor. Who are you? Get out. Just get out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you turn that off, please? Okay, wo sind wir denn jetzt hier reingerutscht? In irgendwelche verschiedenen, keine Ahnung, Organisationen, Zirkel, was auch immer. Hat die gerade eine Katze mir heute? Oder war das meine? Hallo? Nee, ich glaube, das ist im... <lacht> jetzt habe ich hier gerade um meine Schränke geguckt und alles. Ich glaube, das ist hier drin. Ähm, 
Wow, ich, ich habe keine Ahnung, was ich jetzt hier gegriffen habe. Also, ich raff's noch nicht ganz. No, habe ich nicht geklickt. She's a member of a group called Greenstorm. Come on, man, no introduction, V. <laughs> You're annoying. You said you thought we might need some help. Yep, some help and some guidance. Let's hear it. Sind wir das? Also ist offensichtlich Ava. Und die ist Greenstorm, Tante. Habe ich das gerade richtig verstanden, ne? Das sind wir. Und das sind die beiden, nachdem wir schon Chris hier rausgeschmissen haben aus unserer Truppe. Sind wir das? Okay. Um, well, Prosper and Sovereign Pipeline, as you know, means to supply the Midwest with gas at a rate of 500 pounds per square inch, right? It's this high pressure, high wave, natural gas screaming through our communities. And it's nearly finished. And we know they're getting worried because they're sending spies into our group. We know this. But they're winning. So I've been trying to think of a solution. Uh, this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you look right here, okay, this is a major section of the pipeline that's yet to be started. And what makes this area unique and why it's yet to be developed is that access to it's tricky. Okay. There are only uh, two roads that can support the construction traffic, and they're both fed into this highway here. All right, this is Highway 75, and that highway crosses that bridge right there. That's the Salisbury Bridge. It spans the Sally River to the tune of 2,000 square feet. So, we shut that bridge down, and they would have to reroute all of this construction traffic all the way around to this bridge up here, okay? This would set them back months. I mean, this would be a huge blow financially. It's nice work. Thanks. You want to put this all on your own? Uh, well, me, Ava, and of course, Eric here pointed out that we are a little short on that. I said it would only work if we had an organization behind it. I've done stuff like this, but it's never fun. We tried to shut down construction in Sandusfield. We suspended ourselves over the highway for two days. The state cops actually lit a fire under me. Mm -hmm. They like to burn witches in Massachusetts. <laughs> I remember watching that trial on TV. When you poured that glass of water over that CEO's head, it was a big deal. Well, the theatrics play well on the news. Well, we're looking for a little more than theatrics. We are looking to do real damage to Boston. Sure, but how long do you think you can hold the bridge? Well, Half the cops now are ex-forces. They treat this stuff like it's Fallujah. You ever done anything like this before? How serious are you? Okay, Reed. I said I vouch for the guy, and I meant it. Yeah, and I do too. Sure you do, sweetie. You can tell by that look in your eye. Okay, Rhea, it's just... <laughs> I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Sure you're not putting on the show to impress the pretty young activist? Give me three. David. Yeah, just give me some. Right. He's a good guy. Hey, how long have you known him? Long enough. I know what she sees in him, but you? Look, he's serious, he's loyal, and he's not afraid of action. Honestly, sometimes it kind of scares me. He nearly killed Peter. I hate Peter. Okay, well, there you go. All right, so you're gonna help us in that? Take you to meet the others at Convergence. Fantastic. They'll hear you out. But let's talk about the details outside. Close this is not. Fancy. Yeah. Hey, this. Yeah. Okay, einer der nächsten Namen, den wir suchen werden, ist Peter. Ähm, weil wenn er ihn fast getötet hat, kann das der sein, der ihm diese Wunden zugefügt hat im Gesicht. Wisst ihr, was ich meine? Ähm, und vielleicht ist Peter auch gleichzeitig das Arschloch, was er verprügeln will, was er hier Michelle erzählt hat. Okay. Ähm. Convergence. Hm. Ich habe mir wieder einige Wörter aufgeschrieben und ich baller die dann hier wieder ins, ins Pfeil, sobald wir Pause haben. Jetzt haben wir aber noch das Ding hier. Das geht in Evidence, I want to be on that video. 
the government tax are okay, this is your crusade, but I'm trying to make a living. When this goes down, the Jordan will be out for revenge. And she knows it. And she looks at you, it's like she can see right in your soul. Yeah. Okay. You want to uh, you run it one more time? Sure. Oh, let's do it. <clears throat> yes. I don't get it. How long are you closing the bridge for? Well, I reckon we can close the bridge for about a week. You know, we get some hanging tents on the suspension. We were talking about getting a truck up there, maybe turning it over, flipping it. I don't see how you think you're going to hold it that long. I was in Portland for the icebreaker, and they got through after two days. That was different, though. They were going under the bridge. Two days a week. It still doesn't move the needle. Damn, you're coming at me, man. Yeah, okay, no. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. Well, look, do I think a week's going to change the world? No. I don't, but we have to do something. And if I can make the bridge disappear, then I would. It doesn't need to disappear, it just needs to stop being a bridge. And this is where Riordan will say, fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Well, I do have a plan B. Go on. The bridge has four main support foundations, right? Now, if we attach explosives to one of those pillars, just one, we take that whole bridge down. Like bridge over the river Kwai, right? And we can do it at night, so nobody gets hurt, you know? We just don't know where we can find that amount of explosives. They would call us terrorists. Well, they already do, right? In the history of America, bomb making is how you teach truth to power, right? You wanna stop the pipeline, right? And this is where I'll, I'll look at everybody. So, let's stop the pipeline. Let's scare them. Okay, because Prosperance Projects are going to poison our communities for generations to come. They're already hanging them out to dry, right? Saginaw, Midland, Flushing, Flint, you name stop it. Stop talking. You have them with the America and bombs bit. Just keep quiet, no matter how much you want to talk. People hate silence. Let them fill it. And then you and I, We'll toast each other with some tofu dogs. Man, I miss steak so much. We'll go get one right now. A method. I can't break character like that. <laughs> Plus, they can smell it on you. That girl of yours, Evie? She tasted it. Uh, Nick's Avery. What hell of a work of the job. Get off my book. Okay, wir tun also nur so, als würden wir zu der Gruppe dazugehören. Ich fasse das jetzt bloß mal zusammen. Zu dieser Green Storm Gruppe, sage ich mal, und als würden wir wirklich für diese Umweltaktivisten, sage ich jetzt mal, eintreten. Verstehe ich das richtig? Und wir machen dafür sogar vor, wahrscheinlich vegetarisch, vegan oder sonst was zu sein. Weil er mir gesagt, oh mein Gott, ich vermisse mein Steak und so fast alles. Vielleicht ist Steak auch ein Wort, was ich mir mal notieren sollte. Es klingt so, als hätten sie darüber vielleicht, oder als hätte er und dieser Typ, äh, mit dem er gerade gesprochen hat, darüber vielleicht gesprochen. Okay. Boah, habe ich mir viel aufgeschrieben, alter Schwede. Ähm, Peter. Wow. Okay, da haben wir, da haben wir einiges zu gucken. Ich würde erstmal hier anfangen, weil vielleicht sehen wir Peter hier auf dem Bild, aber ich weiß es nicht. Probieren, wow, probieren wir es. Hey, what's the um, what's the deal with Avon Peter? Hmm. You know, I I asked him not to come to that party. Oh yeah. Then what's going on? Christ, David. Oh, you look uncomfortable. Yeah, I am uncomfortable. I have a look. This is not my place. If you want to know about this, you need to speak to Ava. I'm speaking to you. Tell me. I should have done better. Okay. What happened? Peter was our missing stare, and everybody else knew, but I was slow to catch on. He liked to um, give girls drugs, 
He'd make videos sometimes. He said it was consensual. <laughs> but sometimes the girls would wake up and they didn't know what had happened. Fuck. Fuck, Eric. By the time I found out, it was old news, you know? And I told myself, it's just a scene. There's lots of drugs and sex going on. And, you know, Ava was attracted to Peter. Peter knew who all the bands were. Ava wanted to make a name for herself. She was very impressed by him, okay? So how old, how old was it? She said she was 18, but she wasn't. <laughs> so Ava accused Peter, and everybody took sides. And I told myself that I needed to be impartial. And I let her down. Yeah, you didn't protect her? Huh? What was I supposed to do, David? Call the police? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They are already looking for any excuse to take us down. I couldn't do that. I didn't even have any facts. I just... I told myself it was a private matter between two people. Mm -hmm. It was a one-off, and... I just didn't want to see a pattern there. And now, Peter is trying to be a good man. Yeah, and you, I mean. What about me? Well, he's still out there walking the street, so I'm not so sure. But I mean, how are you gonna make this right? I don't think I can make this right, David. Not now. Well, brother, it's never too late. You know? I gotta smoke. Uh, no, 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 not in here. Gotta smoke up on the roof. I'll go with you. My landlord's got rules about smoking. Great. Okay. Ich bin mir noch nicht ganz sicher, wer Peter ist. Ich habe die Vermutung, dass es der Typ auf dem Boot war. Aber okay, jetzt wissen wir schon mal, dass er... Hat er Eva missbraucht? Also, da sie gesagt hat, dass sie 18 war und so weiter... Und es freiwillig getan hat für den Erfolg und Ruhm und sowas alles. Na gut, jetzt können wir ihn zumindest einschätzen, dass das Eric ist. Was halt auch cool wäre, wenn man hier so Bilder auf dem Desktop noch hätte. Von den einzelnen Personen und so, dass man das halt so ein bisschen zuordnen kann. Aber das ist jetzt auch nicht ein Drama. Ich würde gerne wissen, was sie dazu sagt, wenn wir sie jetzt hier damit konfrontieren. Fuck Peter. He's a dick, that's all. He's a dick. No, it's okay. I've got my glow worm with me tonight. It's cute, ungendered, and it doesn't take up all the space in the bed. Hey, David. Your girl? I've been with Ava since she was 12. We go way back. You're the new guy! Ooh -hoo -hoo, you wanna bet? I'm 12 inches of ribbed plastic. And I'm warm. <laughs> yeah, but he's seen me turn from girl to woman. You know, he's seen it all. Busted. You know, they discontinued these because they're made of like toxic plastic or something. So my mom got them real cheap. Yeah, I think she figured that I wouldn't try and eat it, so. Uh, if you want to treat us to plane tickets to Florida, I can arrange something. But I'm warning you. If you meet my mom and she doesn't like you, it's like over. Eh, that's where people go to die ordinary. 
at night. Okay, ich erinnere mich daran, dass ich Glühwürmchen schon mal irgendwo notiert habe. Glühwürmchen, wo habe ich's? Honeymoon-Häuschen. Glühwürmchen beim Kind. Sie hat ihm, erinnert ihr euch noch, sie hat ihm in der Kamera das Glühwürmchen gezeigt gehabt und er hat dann irgendwas mit Glühwürmchen gesagt. Und Rosenrot und Schneeweißchen. Also sie sind alle ganz schön versessen auf Märchen und sowas. Ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass das mit dem Glühwürmchen ein Zufall jetzt gerade ist. Wir haben ja seine, seine Tochter oder das, das Mädchen, was ich für seine Tochter halte, noch nicht gesehen. Vielleicht sollte ich mal als nächstes nach Glühwürmchen oder seiner Tochter suchen. Ähm Aber sie kann ja rein zeitlich gesehen gar nicht seine Tochter sein. Wieso haben die beide das Glühwürmchen dann? Den Zusammenhang schnalle ich noch nicht ganz. Liebe Leute, ich würde an der Stelle gerne wieder eine kleine Aufnahmepause machen. Ich übernehme meine Notizen in das Pfeil. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Episode wieder von Let's Play Telling Lies. Bis dann. Tschüss.